I'm doing a river walk video and I think I will be taking a detour down through the boardwalk, Smallville, and Atria. Let's go see what we can find. I was going to just stay on the brick pathway, but I think I'm going to go walk in here for a minute just to see what restaurants are here. I really don't know a lot of what's here. There's a Korean place I've seen. There's a couple barbecue places. I really don't know what it all is here. There's a Vietnamese place I would like to try. I might do that now if they are open. Cody Veg. I've seen them for Kogi Veggie. It's like a Korean grill place. I've seen them at the mall. I've never eaten there. Boys is one of the standards here. They're actually pretty good. They do all the local Filipino food. I saw a sign for a Vietnamese place. That's what I'm kind of looking for now. I don't know where they are. See, even here, it's a cement walkway. It's not boards. But we cut them some slack. It is the middle of the afternoon, so actually, no. It's the middle of the day. It's like 11 o'clock, so there's like nothing going on that goes all around to Smallville <laughs> they don't do much lunch business at most of these places this is really more of a dinner thing I'm surprised these are even open over in Smallville most of the places don't even open till 5 p.m. Vietnamese place doesn't appear to be open at the moment. I'm not sure. Closed. Bummer. They open. Noon. And then there is a KTV in case you need to get your karaoke on. So this is just a little small fun strip. It would seem the karaoke place does costumes. So that keeps it fun. Yes, go. And the Vietnamese place is not open yet, so I will have to go to lunch somewhere else. Bummer. Here in Smallville, we've got the boardwalk, and then now we've got the avenue, they call it. Last time I was here, the sign was not up. It really blocks the walkway, but uh, I don't, what is it? nothing but desserts is that corner shop. It has got some really good ice cream and cakes. Back in here is Bourbon Street. It is by far the best ribs I have had, not just in the Philippines, but pretty much anywhere. Bourbon Street, oh, there's a sign over here for it, if we can see any of that. It says they're Tex-Mex. I've eaten there and I didn't notice anything Tex-Mex about it. There was steaks and ribs. That's not a bad thing. I don't know if 
the lights working with me or not but there's the sign for the back side of bourbon street they got a bunch of tables out here that i don't know if they share them with the coffee break or bourbon street i don't know whose tables they are i sat inside when we ate there and the food was wonderful i stopped at the quickie mart to get a drink because it's so crazy hot and the quickie mart is closed I'm telling you, this place does no lunch business. I don't know how they stay in business doing dinner only. Our favorite place here was Pirates. And it is gone. It has been gone a very long time. Someone came in and tore it down, but never put anything in its place. That is unfortunate. And with so much construction going on in other parts of the city, I don't know if anyone's ever going to put anything here. Now you probably cannot see it very well from here, but I know what I'm looking for. And right where that the end looks, you can see kind of a grassy area way up there. It's kind of far away, the end of the road looks like. That is the roundabout that leads to SNR straight ahead and the atria to the left. I'm gonna walk over to the atria for lunch because they are open for lunch, unlike this place. So, and all of this, this is now vacant. I hate to see this. I haven't been over to Smallville in a long time. And I knew this was the wrong time of day because they're not really open for lunch, but some of these places are not just closed until dinner, they are vacant. A whole lot of stuff here is vacant. Smallville was the first big restaurant club area they put here in Elo Elo, but I think Mega World, uh, what is that of Central Park, Festive Walk, all those other places that have come in are going to wipe this place out this was never that good but it was all we had now that we have options I just came from Smallville Smallville there you can still see the buildings and such I'm already at the Metro supermarket which is the backside of Atria so this is all gonna be Atria here and then across the way you can see all the construction which is Mega World. This goes from here all the way down to SM City, around and past SM City, because Mega World is giant. It's what used to be the old airport. But we're going to look around Atria and maybe find some lunch. When I was down there, pointing up to the end of the street, I don't think you can really see what I was pointing at. There's a traffic circle here. This traffic circle. Hello, taxi. I'm not waving at you. Sorry. I guess I shouldn't stand in the middle of the street. Huh. Go figure. But anyway, this is the traffic circle. SNR is right on the other side of that. This is uh, San Rafael. There's my jeepney. It would take me home. But I'm not going home yet. I'm looking for breakfast. I thought I was looking for lunch. But I just forgot. I haven't eaten yet today. Anyway. I could go to SNR for a hamburger or pizza. Or I could stroll in here and see what they got. I think we'll do that because this is more fun. I'm not sure. This is the Casa Amore Bistro. I did a video on that. You should check it out because that place is good. Nino's Burritos, Y2K Talabahan. I didn't know anybody here remembered Y2K. That was a long time ago. Coffee shops are very popular here. Personally, I can't stand coffee. Not even the smell. I've heard good things about Nino's Burritos. I think I've eaten at one at the mall once. I really don't remember it. Bill's Bistro. I also did a review here. The food here is really good. It is Monday. And on Monday, they have 
all you can eat chicken. I did that once and I ate way too much. But it was good. Well, from here on out, the music gets much louder and copywritten. So we'll have to do voiceover. Sorry. Uh, let's see. The Asian spoon. I probably should have gone there. I wasn't really in an Asian mood, but uh, it looks good. The Nitongs La Paz Bachoy. Uh, Bachoy is a very popular soup here. Very, very popular. La Paz is a part of town. And my wife and I, neither one of us, really care for it. It's not bad. We just don't really like it. She doesn't eat bachoy, she doesn't eat balut. I'm beginning to wonder if she's actually Filipino at all. I do give her a lot of rational shit for that, just for fun. This one, I can't, I can't read this. Kamalig, Kamalia, the script is weird and I don't know what it says. Uh, looks like standard Filipino fare. Looks pretty good, but most of the restaurants here, not just in the Atria, just everywhere, most of the restaurants here are standard Filipino fare. Because that is what's popular. You go to the mall and you will see the standard Filipino places are packed. The specialty shops are empty. Now this place, the Atria, has more specialty shops than most. Because they kind of cater to the people that want to expand their horizons. But they still have a few regular shops too. Now this is the other side of the metro supermarket. I could have walked through there to get out here, but it wasn't air conditioned, so what's the point? Um, there's usually some little shops out here with clothes and such under this tent. I'm not sure why they're not here. Maybe, maybe just on the weekends. This is a Spanish bistro. I've looked at the menu. It looks good, but it looks expensive so we've never tried it my wife doesn't appreciate going out to eat and spending lots of money she says eating is just something you do to keep from dying uh, we have a disagreement on that but uh, food is an adventure speaking of an adventure a gastro pub doesn't that sound adventurous 88th street gastro pub looks like a good mix you've got your standard filipino fare but then it's got burgers, pizza, spaghetti, depending on how sweet it is, it might be aimed towards locals or not. I'll have to try it one day and find out. The regular Filipino fare looks pretty good at about regular prices. And if this is the mercury drugs, which it is, that means I'm at the end of the atria. The Kuala Med Hospital is right there, directly across the street from us. And this corner is like a one-stop shop. You've got your hospital there, your pharmacy here, and in case you're using the hospital and the pharmacy, conveniently located is the BPI Bank. Talk about your one-stop shopping. Uh, there are a few stores in here. It's not just restaurants. It is mostly restaurants, but here's the eyeglass store. And what is this one? branded for less. It's a clothing store. There's, like I said, not a lot of stores in here. It's, it's, I mean, it really is just mostly restaurants. The chicken place across the street is a Bacolo chicken, which means something on a stick and grilled. That's usually good. I've not been to that one. Uh, we've got a hair salon. Uh, this little area by the pharmacy bank, it's, it's a little different. The Madge Cafe is a very popular coffee shop, and I forget what other part of town. Um, it's in the main one is in one of the town plazas. I didn't know they branched out and put in some others. It's a very well-known local coffee shop, though. Uh, got a little spa. I've never done this one. I have to check their prices. Massages here are incredibly cheap and usually pretty good. This one surprised me. I found this last year. It's a comic book store. It's got comic books, collectibles, um, all kinds of the board games. I was really surprised to find that here. And they've got Magic the Gathering cards. Wow. 
people still play that. I was playing that in like the late 90s, mid 90s. That's a long time. That game's been around forever. But yeah, a store like this requires somebody with a lot of disposable income. And that's getting more common here. But I didn't think they were ready for a full-on comic book store yet. Uh, what is this little play place here? Um, most houses don't have playgrounds in the backyard like we'd have the swing sets, and slides, and all that. So these little play places, it's kind of like the McDonald's playground. Uh, they put them in the malls and you pay 40 or 50 pesos an hour to let your kid play. Uh, about a buck an hour and they're pretty popular. They get pretty busy. Um, um, I'm still looking for some place to eat. We're back here at Madrid, that Spanish bistro. Got another empty one here. There's not a lot of empty stuff here, but there's a few. So, I can't read that sign. The, the Taza? That, that, I don't know. It's a cafe. So it looks like a coffee shop, restaurant. Um, this is our Bisocho house. I do call it Biscotti house out of habit. It is wrong and I don't really care. Um, it's a little bakery. It's not bad. Um, this, what? Live all day. Your healthy choice. It's a, um, looks like they've got like mostly chicken and a lot of tofu. So they have vegetarian options. It's not a vegetarian place. This would be a very difficult place to be vegetarian. I was vegetarian for 27 years, and I don't think I would do it here. Oh, yes, Jollibee's. Jollibee is the king. Say what you will about the food. They love it. We just had an election. All the barangay officials got elected. Jollibee is still the king. You just can't deny it. Such is life. Um, oh, we're back to my jeepney stop, but I haven't had lunch yet, so I'm not leaving. But this is the corner with Cafe Amor, which is a very good restaurant. We did a review of it. Check it out if you have not. And around the corner is 7-Eleven, because I always buy a drink for the one hour jeepney ride home. Usually Coke or water. I don't always buy rum. Uh, the jeepney takes about an hour. It is one ride all the way to the house. And by all the way to the house, I mean about, you know, a kilometer from the house. But that's our fun shopping area. Lots of restaurants. Now I've got to go find lunch. Enjoy your day in paradise. <laughs>